It's uh, uh, Carolyn. She's in the rapid charge heat because she's late. And uh, hey, Carolyn. Yeah, you got to put Red Bull hats on so you can make a quota. Yeah, <laughs> post interview exactly. I don't know. So, Carolyn, how do you feel? How do you feel about your uh, last heat? Did you get a couple good ones? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I missed my heat apparently. She had to do her hair this morning. It smells good, looks I great. I actually fall straight out of bed here. Probably the prettiest hair ever to make it on a drive through for sure. Have you seen Donovan's hair, though? Hello. I'm jealous of his hair and his yeah. Hi. How are you? I've known Caroline since she was in her diapers. Like, she was just a little wiffle apple. Now she's just flying the flag for the East Coast so well and ripping so hard for and pushing female women surfing so well. First time seeing all the drive through guys and we're gonna go surf T Street, I think. Everyone's excited, it's fun. Um, yeah, the waves actually look really fun. I just drove back there. I'm a little bit behind schedule. I'm, I showed up 30 minutes late and they all gave me a hard time, but <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna head to T Street and get some waves. Should be fun. All right, Carolyn's in. All right, let's go. There's no way out, Carolyn. Caroline Marks is pretty much America's golden child right now. You know, she's just killing it and surfing, and she's such a nice, just humble person to be around. And to be able to roll into San Clemente and have breakfast with her and go surf T Street with her and actually watch how much she loved the drive through vibe. Because I was, I didn't, you know, we don't know how she's going to take all of us dudes and being loud and obnoxious and just doing what we do. And she really clicked into gear and kind of embraced the culture of the drive through quick. We're taking our pants off right now. Come on over. You got to get your pants off. Yeah, we're down in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. All right, see ya. Yeah, just, we, if we walk yeah, in, you just like, get, and we're already up there, just show up with your fucking underwear. Yeah. I'm like a growing man. I'm not going to wear underwear to breakfast. <laughs> They'll call the police. It's the richest place in town. Plus, it's cold outside. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Bro. No, I love it. I'm not doing it. I bet, I bet I we'll do something else. Because nobody else is in their boxers. Dude, this is like, it's well, all, there's to. a, it's a whole, spoiler. okay, well, let's do it when we're in there. Yeah. Look, Griffin's yeah. taking off his pants right now. What are you doing? Do you not have underwear? I mean, do it. Well, let's do it like when we're inside. I don't want to walk around San Clemente. Right <laughs> well, we're, who else was on our team? Just us? Yeah. Where's Jet? I, it's coming. Yeah. Wait, do, you guys all have like, what? hold on, let me see what I have. I'm going to look like an idiot. We're all going to look like an idiot. <laughs> My dad's like, oh, he, he's acting like he's not going to do it. And we all make him do it. Everyone gets in their underwear and walks up. Everyone's looking like, what the hell are these guys doing? It was so funny. Come on, we lost the bet. We lost the bet. It looks cold this morning, boy. A little shrinkage. <laughs> Carolyn didn't play bowling last night because she didn't want to have to drop her drawers. I got too scared. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, it's all cold. I know. Let's get him some towels. Right? I know. Yeah, Jess. No Welcome way. To the ah. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It was like the most embarrassing thing, but real quickly, like, I think I got to able to shuffle around the corner and like sit down really quickly but I think I think Griffin was just kind of cruising around in his underwear at breakfast all morning he didn't even care <laughs> just finished a nice big breakfast with everybody and now we, uh, we're uh we gonna load up Caroline we're gonna go meet up with some San Clemente squad and go rip T Street it's on day six baby oh yeah day six comes flying by so we're gonna pull up the T Street we're gonna see what happens. Look, the cops are here. Holy shit, it's like the best D Street in all the world. What's going on? What happened? What's going on? What happened? <laughs> We're here. Self driving RV. Yeah, wearing booties here, right? It's cold, warm, right? Oh, yeah. He's on the drive-thru, 24 hours. I'm on the drive-thru. Go get him, go get him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go steal some wax from Brother. Unless brother, you, we need some wax. Unless if you guys have some. Wait, can we get some wax? Are you oh. out here? I'm gonna steal wax from Brother still. <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm thinking if you go in the middle of that pack and fart. Fart? Everyone will. 
They might. Well, it is We've got enough That's in and out this trip. Crane, watch this air. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah. Well, I don't know where to put it. Sure, but we should just wait and get a ticket. Like oh, seven dollars. What if they tell it? Well, you. I don't know. Got it. Donnie just pulls the RV straight up over the yellow dots, and we just set up camp right there. And I was like, oh, he probably ended up moving it like before we paddle out. And so like we all paddle out, and I look in, and the RV's still there in the same spot. I'm like, oh, wow. I wonder if they're gonna be able to pull this off. I feel pretty good, a little sore from bowling and winning last night, but. Yeah, day six, eight more days to go. And the Groms are feeling the pressure because they don't have enough clips. Psych.